Hey. Yo, I'm here with my associate pastor. <laughs> yeah, that's cute. Just get it. This is Redneck Disneyland. Welcome, welcome to my house. They don't let you catch them, do they? Hold on to my feet. I'm gonna bend over there and see if I can get a fish. How much money you give me if I crawl into that? Eight dollars? That doesn't seem like much. To... Hey, do they let you fish in there or no? You from uh, up there? No. Tyler. Oh hi. Hello there. Do you ever have you ever hunted waterfowl? I have not. We went to duck camp once, uh, but I just played PlayStation 2. Go on with your bad self stretch. Welcome to the Duck Club. Welcome to Fight Club. Welcome to the Duck Club. We're here at Bass Pro Shop. Yeah, we are. We're talking about chicken pox. Are we? It's catchy. We've been talking about the spirit. Yep. Then we talked about the soul. You know what we're talking about now? The body. My body. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. How are we still friends? Yeah. So in Genesis chapter 2, verse 7, the Bible talks about how we were all made from dirt. Yeah. Spoiler alert. God literally formed our bodies from dirt. It's scriptural. So our body contains our soul and our spirit. You would think that the body is super easy to understand. But what you probably don't know is we're at war sometimes. This means war. Like what your spirit wants to do and what your soul wants to do and what your body wants to do. Oh, gosh. that's it. Protect yourself. Why are you hitting yourself? Yeah. You know, it's, I mean, it's, it's like bad. a room of, of people. If you have a topic, people can disagree for you know, oh. different reasons. You get enough people in a room together, they're not going to agree on everything. No. But your body, your spirit, and your soul. They're all in the room together. They and don't sometimes agree. Sometimes they conflict. 1 Corinthians 6 19 says, Don't you realize that your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit who lives in you and was given to you by God? We read that one way, but think about the way they actually said it. Like, don't you get it? Like, get it. Like, your body is a temple of the Holy Spirit. That's the condo you have to do everything else. Mm. When we say we're fighting with ourselves, we're actually talking about our soul and our spirit. Yeah, Those right. two things want totally different things. Let's stick and move. Okay. It's about to get really intense in here. I'm not gonna get in it, but where are you? Hey. Coming in. I the just water's fine. The water is fine. So our bodies have habitats. They're yep. healthy and there's unhealthy. The the word of God warns us to watch out for anything that allows our body to have whatever it wants, because a lot of times our body has these evil desires. Yeah. All right, so, wow, look at us. So, look at us here. so here's a question a lot of people ask. It's like, how much can I get away with and oh, still be okay? That is a trap question yes, every single time. It's a trap. It's like, oh, I'm safe, so I can do whatever I want, just say I'm sorry. No matter how enticing sin is, it will never satisfy. It yeah. never, lives up to the hype. It no, no. always falls short, but it feels good, looks good, seems good at first. So the only way to break that cycle of sin is to trust the Holy Spirit. It's allow it to, get, to take over because your body's not going to make the right decision if it's left to its own accord. The Holy Spirit is the only way you break through all that. Even if you've got a pattern of sin, yeah. even if you've got habitual sin, things you just do over and over and over again, the Holy Spirit can break all that. Like. Break me off a piece of that. Apple sauce. What is it? What do you say? Chrysler car. Nope. Uh, Football cream. Okay. Ah! Okay, here we go. I am distancing myself. Hey guys, let's go to God in prayer. You ready? Mm -hmm. God, we want to please you. We want to do the right thing. Sometimes we give in temptation. Please forgive us and create us a new heart. Thank you for never giving up on us. In Jesus' name. Hey, you know what else is important? That Gerber hacksaw thing there. Oh, that, wow. that, yeah, there's a machete for $24.95. Oh, wow. You know that's my son's nickname, I'm right? Kill this fake bear with it. Everybody. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know why I'm so aggressive. I don't know either. That's how Backstreet does. Backstreet, back, back. Do you think it's cool? It's not cool.